chilling downstairs, right? And, like, just out of nowhere, I hear a big bang. Boom! Upstairs, right? I don't know what it is, because I'm home alone. So, if there's actually something here, then I am scared. Here, hold on, let me see. If you came here to kill me, clap your hands. Meme review, everybody. YouTube's favorite show. <laughs> Special news announcement. Good evening. My name is Gloria Borger. I work for Meme Review now, doing the special new coverage of memes and your whatever you need to know about memes. This just in. Last week, neck man, very large neck. Look at that neck. I'm sorry, but do you see that neck? Very big neck man was arrested. But it turns out he made a friend. I love when news are wholesome. I know I'm not supposed to give my own opinion, but this is a beautiful thing. Wide neck meets up with long neck. It's the yin and the yang. Wide neck and long neck. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Oh, he don't want no smoke. Why that nigga dead long neck? I'm about to beat his ass. Where he? I'm about to snap his ass. Tighten up, let's go. All next matter. I'm not supposed to add my own opinion on meme review, but smash like if you agree with this message. I mean, I, I'm not supposed to add my own opinion, but this seems like the most ambitious anime crossover since The Lion King. I mean, just look at these two. How can you not love them? Oh, I mean, next news comes from stairs. That's right, everybody. Last week we covered stairs. Scientists have debated for so long, for centuries, for eons. What is the most effective way to go upstairs? Do you walk one step at a time or do you walk two steps at a time? Let's look at climbing stairs and how much power- Blah, 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 pseudoscience, don't waste my time. Everyone knows it goes like this. One step at a time, bunch of virgin losers. Two steps at a time, you're slightly better. Three steps at a time, oh, you're an absolute champ. 16 steps at a time, you're practically gone. But what scientists now, from carefully studying the data, has now revealed that the ultimate way to walk up the stairs, revealing first time live here on Meme Review as Gloria Borga, is to crawl up the stairs. You're not alpha unless you crawl up the stairs, everybody. Next. News. Next news comes from Florida. Florida, which of course is the most insane place in the world where you get the best headlines. Florida man accused of attacking girlfriend with banana. Okay. Uh, as Florida man forced to suck or does. Or now incoming new Florida man. Florida man claims he only drank at stoplight and not while driving. Now I'm not supposed to add my opinion. But God bless you, Freud Lafleur. God bless. That was it for Gloria Borga. Let's begin meme review. <laughs> It's the thirst, thirstiest time of the year. Just one query. They did surgery on a grape. The answer is clear. It's the thirst, thirstiest time of the year. Sprite, let's go! Wanna scribe, pray and pray? Apparently this month's meme decided to be the absolute worst and very related. Coincidence? I DON'T THINK SO! This is another corporate chill paying their ways into memes and I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it, Sprite. Oh, they got Susumiya Haruhi. God fucking damn it! Ah! This is multi-layered marketing, you understand that right? Girlfriend has mood swings. Sprite Cranberry has no emotions. Girlfriend can't touch her without... Uh... 
girlfriend. LeBron doesn't even know her. Sponsored by OK. But like, what does it taste like? But like, does it taste like cranberry? Because like, I kind of want to try it. No! If you want to waste your money, then buy the PewDiePie merch. Link in the description. None of this cranberry. You've stranded in the desert. It's 100 degrees. You have no water. As you begin to fade away, he reaches out to you. Want a Sprite Cranberry? I feel like I have not explained this meme, <laughs> really. This is a stupid commercial with LeBron James going, You want a Sprite Cranberry? That's it. I don't know if you expect that any- Okay, that's kind of funny. <laughs> no, I don't, LeBron James. No, I freaking don't. Stop asking me. Please. Despite how absolute trash this meme is, that's right, I call it trash. There are some good ones out of it. Like, uh, LeBron James breaking into your house to offer you Sprite Cranberry. ASMR. Want a Sprite Cranberry? Cranberry? Want a Sprite Cranberry? No, I don't! Want a Sprite LeBron. Cranberry? Oh my god! Jesus Christ, LeBron. Now, I know what you're all thinking. Does it actually taste like cranberry? Well, I have not tried it. But I have Timothy Birmingham, who was clearly before his time, <laughs> with three years, drinking a Sprite cranberry. Let's see what he has to say. Hey, everyone. How you doing? My name is Timothy. Hello. And I will be trying... Oh my god, Sprite. he has- That's so much Sprite Cranberry. That is a lot of Sprite Cranberry, and you cannot argue with that. Cranberry. Yeah, Sprite Cranberry. Alright, so what do you got for us, Timothy? What does it taste like? It's got a funky taste, I know that. <laughs> That's for sure. What does it taste like, Timothy? Well, let's say I gotta rate this. Yes, please rate it. Oh my god, um, I gotta rate it- what are you rating it, Timothy? Uh, uh, I gotta rate please. it. Please, please, Timothy. Uh, oh my God, Timothy! A three. A three. A three. It gets a three. The Sprite Cranberry meme gets also a three. Thank you, Timothy Birmingham. Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. Cranberry. Did you know that they did surgery on a grape? <laughs> Introducing a new segment on this show. Again, new meme format. We announce new meme format. Cuando alguien está destruyendo tu vida, pero eres tu mismo. What does this mean? I don't know. What does this meme? Ha 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 ha. Global warming. Humanity migrates me. Ha ha. That's relatable. When you finally catch that mother. That's been holding you down. Introducing a new meme segment, everybody. This one is called Not Quite Ready to Die. That's right. To our little kill him. We have Muyai. That's right. The Easter Island emoji. Can I get an Easter Island Muyai emoji in the chat? Everybody. Thank you very much. Muyai, of course, is everywhere. We've seen him everywhere. Uh, from, from pop culture to classic culture to uh, whatever this is. Muyai. It's just there. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. I like it. I like it. Smash like if you can hear this image right now. I'm gonna say the N word. Bruh. Well, freaking gosh darn it, Muyai. I'm gonna have to kill you now. Zero. SMH. Another meme that kind of has been popping on a bit more. It's not. It's kind of funny. You have these videos where, uh... <laughs> Pretending to shower as the Black Parade plays out of an iPod Touch while on vacation with your parents. ASMR. Or perhaps your parents are arguing downstairs about divorce while you're crying all while Mr. Brightside plays. ASMR. But my personal favorite, I know I'm not supposed to give my opinion, it's the LeBron James breaking into your house to offer you Sprite Cranberry ASMR. Want a Sprite Cranberry? No, I don't want a Sprite Cranberry. Leave me alone, LeBron James. Another meme 
not quite ready to die is the PETA tweet that came out yesterday urging people to stop using anti-animal language such as don't say kill two birds with one stone say feed two birds with one stone feed a dead horse don't say that uh uh don't say that feed a horse you think anyone's gonna say hey you really <laughs> hey can you stop that you're really feeding a horse huh you're really feeding a horse with that one you're not even making any goddamn sense PETA you're saying that by this context, you will say, stop feeding the horse. This, of course, gets parody. Jax Films posted, instead of saying happy holidays, SMH, say, may your Christmas be filled with Christmas. <laughs> what day is it? How many days till Christmas? <laughs> or Grande, who posted, kill two birds with a stone, say, two games with one bundle. Oh, this is the gamer language version. Very epic. I see potential. What can I say? Maybe you want to invest. Maybe you don't. All right, make your own goddamn decision. I'm not here to tell you how to think or what to do. Can we get an actual meme, Felix? Okay! Roses are red. A bells do chime. DVD screensaver hits corner four freaking times. Now I'm told that this has only happened once where the corner hits four times. I have never witnessed it myself. I never seen this miracle with my own eyes, but I can only dream that one day I will be blessed with this. Did that really just happen? Did that? Did I really just witness that? Oh yeah. Did I it really did just it did witness happen. that? Good morning. You did. Oh my! You see, when the DVD bouncing thing logo hits a corner, that is the sweet euphoria. That's how you know you can die a happy man. It's the ultimate pleasure known to mankind. Ready. Yeah! Oh my God. <laughs> you kids have your Call of Duty epic 360 montages, but you will never understand what it truly meant to witness one of these. Sometimes it looks like it's heading right into the corner of the screen, and then at the last minute it hits a wall and bounces away. And we are all just dying to see it go right into the corner. Pam claims that she saw it one day when she was alone in the conference room. Okay. <laughs> I believe she thinks she saw it. I saw it. I saw it, and it was amazing. Women cannot see it. Uh, don't make me laugh. SMH. Okay. I've been watching this for- Oh! oh. <laughs> that was a bit anticlimactic. It just hit out of nowhere. I, I wasn't even ready for it. Wow, did you see that? No reaction. No reaction. No reaction. This is what I'm talking about. Women, they cannot witness the DVD screen. I'm not being sexist. This is not sexism, okay? But women- I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it. Women cannot see the DVD screen hit in the corner. And if you think that is just lies made up, then I don't know what to tell you. You liar, you li you're the liar. Here we go, I'm not, I'm gonna watch the whole thing. Here we go, hit the corner, come on. Come on, daddy needs, daddy needs an epic reaction, come on. Is it, oh shit, I, see that's the thing, it tricks you. You think it's gonna hit it and then it bounces. Gosh damn it. Gosh freaking damn it. Come on DVD video. Come on. I'm not ending this video until it hits the goddamn thing in the corner. Come on. What if I change the size of this? Uh, I, I recess. God damn it. I can't even cheat it. Which I would never do. Come on DVD video. Come on. Come on DVD video. Come on. Hit the corner. Hit the corner. Hit the- Damn it. That was close. Come on dude. <gasps> Is it gonna do it? Ah, oh, damn, that was really <gasps> Is it gonna do it? Ah, oh, damn, that was really close. Okay, come on, DVD video corner, come on. Come on, DVD video corner. Come on. Oh, is it gonna do it? 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 Oh, I thought it was gonna hit it. Is it gonna do it? Oh, I thought it was gonna hit it. Is it gonna. Oh, oh. Okay, come on, DVD video corner. Come on, DVD video corner. Come on. Is it gonna do it? Ah! Oh. Come on, 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 come on. Ah! Oh. That was close. Ah, oh, come on, dude. Just once. I just need it once. I just need it once. Come on, DVD video corner. Is it gonna do it? Is it gonna do it? Is it gonna do it? Oh! That was a meme review. 
Hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, remember, like for Summers, ignore for James Charles. Oh,